Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. We've set up our Rudolph Christmas Town and we're looking for Daniel Tiger. Can you help us find him? Is he in the candy cane factory? Or how about the ice rink? He's not near the Christmas tree. And he isn't at the toy shop. He must be at the train station. And there he is with Cornelius. We need to get our outside time today, Daniel. Let's look out the window and see what the weather is like. Oh, the sky is blue and the sun is out. It's cold, but Daniel Tiger knows how important it is to get vitamin D every day. And if we don't get it from the sunshine, we get it from a vitamin. These are called U-cubes. There's no food coloring or preservatives. They aren't candy, so make sure you get help from an adult. Daniel Tiger wants to take Puppy on a walk. He knows it's important for pets to get exercise. You ready for a walk, Puppy? Come on, Puppy. Walk, walk. That's a good boy. Come on, because it's below zero today, we need to put a jacket on Puppy. We have two to choose from. A little knit sweater with a reindeer on it, or a pink quilted jacket. I think we'll go with the pink one today. Aw, doesn't Puppy look great? Now we're ready to go for the walk. Open the door. Oh, it's locked. Now, oops. Okay, we gotta unlock the deadbolt. We always lock the doors. Ah, it's so beautiful out. I'm wearing my sunglasses, my winter coat, and I have my gloves with me. Come on, puppy. Let's get you on the leash. Puppy needs to be on a leash so he doesn't run out into the road and get hit by a car. Today we're using our green leash and we need to hook it on to Puppy's collar. We have to be careful not to pinch him with the clip. Let's find the little metal loop. There it is. Oops. It's hard with one hand. There we go. We always take walks as a family and we use them as opportunities to learn. Maybe something about safety, or maybe about nature. As we're heading down the driveway, Daniel Tiger knows we need to stop at the end. There's a road, and a car can be passing by. So we stop, and we look both ways. When we know it's clear, we can cross the road safely. Hey, look! We found a big chestnut. The squirrels haven't collected this one yet. Hmm. Ooh, we're coming up to some puddles. It's so cold that there's a layer of ice on the top. Good thing I wore my gum boots. I can splash in the puddles. They're quite muddy. We find a bright red fire hydrant. Firefighters use this to hook their hoses up if there's a fire, and the water will come out of the ground. Do you know what this sign says, Tiny Fans? S-T-O-P. Stop. Well, we got 20 minutes of bright sunshine today. It's time to go inside and warm up. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today, Daniel Tiger and his family are going paddle boarding with me. I have a big blue paddle board. I also have my pink and black life jacket on. Safety first. Everything must be zipped up and buckled up. I was just about to leave when I saw Puppy. 
He wants to come on the paddleboard with us. He's a good swimmer, but we still can't go far since Puppy doesn't have his life jacket with him today. Okay, come on, Puppy. Come on. You can get on. Up here, Puppy. Good boy. Our family always makes sure we get outside every day for some enjoyable activities or exercise. Since Daniel Tiger and his family have their own canoe, we're going to put them in and we'll meet them at shore. Have a good ride! If you're ever on a kayak or a paddleboard, it's important to know how to use a paddle. See the rounded part? It scoops the water. I have a big black paddle with a round circle on the bottom. We need to paddle one side and then the other so that we can continue to go in a straight line. Puppy's enjoying the breeze that's coming off the water. He really does like to come with me on a paddleboard ride. Maybe we'll see a fish in the water. Puppy, he likes to look for the ducks. Oh, and Daniel Tiger has made it back to shore. It's time for us to go back too. Puppy looks like he's getting hot. It's time for a swim. After he comes out of the water, he loves to run around in the sand. There he goes. And now it's time for me to write a special message for you in the sand. It's a bee. Why? And an E. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Bye bye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today, Tiny Treasures Minnie is going to give Peppa and her family pool time in our big bathtub. Let's start the water and pump in some orange scented organic bubble bath. When Peppa and her family are done, it's Poppy's turn for bath time. In goes George, Peppa, Mommy Pig, and very muddy Daddy Pig. Oh dear, Mommy Pig is caught under the flowing water. Oh, here goes Peppa. She got sucked in too. And now Mommy Pig joined her. The bath water is starting to get very bubbly and soapy. It's getting our toys nice and clean. Tiny Treasures Minnie is using one of our very popular bath toys for the Peppa Pig family. It's a blue speedboat. There's just enough seats for everyone in the family. Daddy Pig is too big to drive, so he must go in the passenger seat. Mommy will be the driver because she has her boat license. And little George in the front, Peppa in the back. And this is a reminder, Tiny fans, always wear your life jacket when riding a boat, canoe, and even a paddleboard. Safety first. We are all done with our boat ride, but where's Daddy Pig? Silly Daddy Pig, 
he got a chocolate chip banana muffin out of the fridge and is having a little snack. Now the bath water is ready for Puppy. I need to remove his collar so that it doesn't get wet and wrecked. And that way we can wash his neck too. Poppy loves warm baths. I always make sure it's not too hot. We're going to use our Olaf cup to get Poppy's fur wet. Now we add some shampoo made especially for dogs. Does that feel a little cold, puppy? This is cherry blossom. It smells very good. And you can't use human shampoo on dogs. It must be pet shampoo. They have different hair than you and I. We massage the soap into puppy's fur. Be careful not to get any into puppy's eye. We've rinsed him off and now it's time to dry him off. He looks so cute wrapped up in a towel. Now Puppy is all clean. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye! Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today our Paw Patrol Pops are hanging out with our puppy. Hello. Oh, they're in the secret tunnel today. What do we have inside the secret tunnel? It's a puzzle with little doors and they flip open. Pops, we're gonna learn animal sounds today. Hmm, what door should we open first? Let's go with the top door. It's a farmer, and he's cuddling a little baby lamb. What does the lamb say? Bah. Now let's open the left door in the barn. It's a brown and white goat. What does the goat say? Bah. The right side of the barn has a cow, black with white spots. What does the cow say? Moo. This little white door has some hens in it. What do the hens say? Buck, buck, buck. There's the barn cat. What does the kitty say? Meow. Let's go see what our kitty's up to right now. Silly kitty. She's riding her brown rocking horse. Back and forth. Back and forth. This door has a little white rabbit, and he's picking out a carrot from the garden. Rabbits don't really make noises, they just kind of wiggle their noses. The black doggy is scratching at this door. Ooh, it's a big muddy pink pig. What does the pig say? There's a white goose outside of this door. Let's have a look. Oh, it's the white sheep. Maybe it's the mama to the lamb. What does she say? Bah, bah. Now we open the great big barn door. Oh, and it's a brown horse with black hair. What does the horse say? Nay! Nay! And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today, Poppy and I are outside with Nunu and we're on the hunt for some letters. And with all the letters we find, we're gonna spell a word. Let's get started. Nunu. 
Nunu has spotted the first letter. Let's get a closer look and see what it is. It's the letter O. Look, puppy, we found a red letter O. Let's put it in Nunu's shape sorter. We've spotted the next letter. Look, puppy, we found the letter T. It's a red T. There's another letter in the snow. Puppy, it's the letter S. It's an orange S, the same color as Nunu. Follow us this way, puppy. We found another letter. What letter is it this time? It's the red letter Y, puppy. We found all the letters outside. Now it's time to go inside and complete our word. And Kitty's watching us through the window. There she is. We're back in, Kitty. Did you miss us? Let's put all of our letters on the floor and see if we can spell a word with them all. We found four letters. What word do you think we can spell with these letters? I know. We can spell the word toys. T-O-Y-S, just like tiny treasures and toys. And speaking of toys, it's time to clean them up. We always clean up our toys after we play with them. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today, Daniel Tiger and his parents are following little puppy's tracks. Where did puppy go? There he is. It snowed an enormous amount last night and we're gonna go into the forest and see how deep the snow is. We really should have our snowshoes but let's see how far we can go and explore the woods. There's still a lot of green, even though it's very cold outside. Look at this tree, it's fallen over onto another tree. There's Puppy, he wants to follow us. Come on, Puppy. Daniel Tiger and his parents are climbing the tree that's fallen. They can walk all the way up. And here's Puppy. We found something interesting on the tree bark. It's called a lichen. And it's bright green. It stays alive in the winter. It sort of looks like lettuce. Mother Tiger has a great idea. The branches are covered in snow. Let's shake them off and it'll feel like a snowfall to Mother Tiger. This is how much it snowed last night. The snow reaches the top of the lamppost. The roof has at least a couple feet of snow on top. Can you spot Daniel Tiger and his parents? They're way up high in a snow mountain. What a beautiful view. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. 
Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye.